Hey everybody, this is Wolfin' Out, and I have something completely different today. Today, we're going to do a quick video on how to install the Machine Muses Modular Power Suit mod into your vanilla Minecraft. Now, a lot of people might have, um, what is it, like Magic, what is it, uh, Magic Launcher, or you have the FTB Launcher, or you have Multi-MC, and so doing mods in those are real easy, especially since a lot of the FTB ones are coming with the power armor anyway. But if you have vanilla Minecraft, you might not know. I think a lot of people do know at this point what they're doing, but you might not know for sure. So we're going to do two things here. Right now, you need to go to the Forge website because you're going to need the latest edition of Forge. And um, here it is. I'll put the link in the description. So we're going to just go with the recommended one here. We will just do right here, Universal Recommended, and we're going to download this here. Now this is going to be for uh, the 1.51 edition of Minecraft, which is only going to be slightly different than the 1.47, but it'll, I'll, I'll explain the one difference and it will still work if, you're, if you still have 1.47. Okay, what do we want to do with this? We're going to save it. All right, and then let's open the folder because oh, it just went under my downloads. Excellent. So that's the one thing we need. Okay, perfect. And I actually want to let us. Don't worry, I've got a hugely messy desktop. So I'm gonna pull that out and move that there. Yeah, so don't worry about my desktop. It's a huge mess. We'll just stick it right there. Excellent. The second thing we're going to need is you have to go to machinemuse.net and I will have that as well in the description. And this is where you get the downloads. Now we come down here to download. Very simple. And you can see right here is where you get the recommended version of what you want. And you can see she's got the 1.477 here. Now if you want some of the experimental builds, you come to Jenkins and you can get the latest build of whatever work in progress she's currently doing. Now the change here is 1.47 just has one jar file. But if you want 1.51, you have to get the modular power suit jar, and then we're going to have to get the modular power suit add-on. Because a lot of these mods here that you have currently in 1.47 now have the separate, like the auto feeder, generator, kinetic generator, item magnet, the torch holder, um, the portable crafting table, all these which are integrated into this are now separate if you want them. So we're going to have to download two of them here. So let's get this one real quick. And here it is. We will download that right quick. Uh, and then we will, and let's just do the desktop. Perfect. And we'll back out and then we'll go here to the, the add-on. Nice. And right here. Here it is. And we will download that. And oop, this isn't it. Where'd it go? My download is starting. Okay, so... I saw how did it oh I think it popped up the other window here. Here we go. Right here? No. Right here? No. Where did it pop up? Did it already go into my downloads here? It did not. Let's just try again. Here it is. Here we go. So save as, and we will do the desktop. Save. Excellent. So now we've got that there and this here. So now we've got both of them. Now we need Minecraft. So we've got Minecraft. Get your Minecraft. Make sure you're up updated. Now, I've already updated for 1.5, but of course, you can always get in, force your update, and you're good to go. 
That's why we have a nice, clean install for Minecraft. So we make sure it's updated, so we have a nice, clean, we'll have a nice, clean 1.51. And it just takes a moment here to make sure. And there it starts up, and we're good to go. Now, I, of course, I use Multi-MC. You can see it actually right here. I use Multi-MC a lot, and so it makes it very easy, because it's just like the FTB shortcut, which I have up here. It's just like that. You can just instantly go add mod, boom, into the mod folder. You're done. It's super easy. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but for those of you who aren't using these things, okay, here we go, 1.51. And let us quit out. And then we need to go, I believe, was it the money sign? You guys are like, no, it is not that. App data, roaming, Minecraft. There it is. So we get in there. Now we've got a few, oh, I've still got a few things in there. Okay, so what we're going to need is you've got your forge. So let's get into our bin folder. And we've got our Minecraft jar right here. Now I have 7-zip. That's free. Uh, you can get WinRAR, but you need something to open it up. So we'll get in here, and I'm just going to open that up. And so we have that. Now we're going to get over here to Forge. We're going to do Forge first. And again, I'm just going to do Open the Archive. And I'm going to go to Edits. Oh, not the View. List. Edit, Select All, and I'm just going to drag and drop, not into the folders, because it might go into a folder. Just down here, drag and drop, and let every one of those Forge folders go in. Yes, we want to transfer. We delete the meta inf. Don't need that. Gone. Excellent, so we're partway there. Now I'm going to go ahead and run Minecraft again real quick to make sure it installs Forge. Because then when you install Forge, you know, it makes it safe. You can see right here it's already coming up. And then we'll get the mods folder and everything will be in the right place and ready to go to add these Forge mods. And now we're downloading. Excellent. And voila. You can see down here now, we have Forge. So let's quit out, and we still have it open. So we've got the bin folder right here. Oh, and I've got the this folder right here. So now we get into, I don't see it. All right, where is it? Oh, right here. Excellent. So then we've, here we are. Here's our folder. So now we can just take the, it's a, take this, drag it in. No, we don't drag it in. I apologize. We do not drag it in. Cancel that out. Get back to our, get back into your Minecraft folder here. Let's get back. Now you can see we have a mods folder because we ran Forge. So let's click on that. And I've got a few things in here. Why is that? Is this just stuff that comes with Forge maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we'll just take the modular power armor. We dump it right in. We take our... This is the add-on pack with all those other ones. We'll take it in. We dump it in. We're basically good. Let's start up Minecraft. Get it running again. And we should be good to go. Okay, so you can see five mods loaded. Ta-ting, right there. Hit the mods button. Machines modular power. And Andrew's modular power, it's probably mods or add-ons or something like that. And then we can come in here, create a new world. Done. Create the world. Now, of course, there isn't a way to actually see if this has worked, because <laughs> we're going to get in here. Oh, we can go, yeah, all right. So here we are. So how does it work? So then what we'll do is... We put the cheat commands on so we can say game mode creative and go into creative mode here. And then we should have, there it is. Here it is right here. And here's all the stuff you get. There's that. Power gauntlet, power, they're all called the power gauntlet for some reason. That is odd. But there we go. So then we slip down the table. There you go. Here they are. They all pop up. The power gauntlet, the power gauntlet, the power gauntlet. That's funny. 
All right, and then uh, you take a peek, and you can see. Here we go. We've got retractable blades. You got your shovel, your pickaxe, your axe, your melee assist, your plasma cannon, your rail gun. Look at all this stuff. Blink drive, diamond drill. We do have the in-place assembler, which is the extra stuff. The blink drive was on there, right? Up here. Here's your torch placer. Now I'm going to do, I did a mod spotlight on this power armor for the point, what was it, the point nine nine or whatever, the one, the one, the basically the uh, the newest update for 1.47. We did, uh, or no, no, it was 1.78, the point one seven eight. sorry, the one that's currently in the FTB packs is the one I have. Now I'm going to be doing an update very soon to go over some of these changes, like the torch placer and the magnet and these two extra things that are, that have been done. So look forward to stay tuned for that, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how that works. So you can see, there you go. That's all there is to it. And then you were done. You have the power armor installed. Now, of course, when you're using, say, FTB, it's super easy because you pick your pack, edit mod pack, come down here, modular power suit. Of course, you can't do anything now because the mod packs are not up to 1.5 yet. But here, you know, obviously you can just disable, add mod, stick it in. I'm pretty sure most people know how to do that. If you don't know how to do that, let me know, and I will do an update and uh, show you that. And then I like to use multi-MC here, and if you see, come in here, you right-click here, edit mods. It's the same thing, mod folder. You just add the mods just like the FTB. You can add them in. It makes it super easy. You don't have to open up all those folders. It's very great. Okay, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment. And if you like this was helpful to you, leave a like, share the video, and let me know what you thought. Thanks, everybody. Bye bye. Hey, everybody. This is Wolfin Out and and Cipher. Hey, now we are doing a mod spotlight. Yay! Oh yeah. Our very first one, and we are excited.